Hello everybody. This is uh this is going to be a teaching video today for the song Morrison's Jig played on the Hammer Dulcimer. And of course, this is going to be my variation of the song, which is relatively close to the original melody but still a variation. And I'm going to be working with a couple of different techniques that uh that I've picked up that I've gleaned or learned from some of my other teachers that have just helped me to kind of work my songs through a little bit better um, and not be as stuck in you have to play a song in one particular way as like a teacher or something like that would teach you. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right in and get started because I always find it's a little, bit, a little bit easier to learn as you go. And this video is going to be for the A part of the song and then the next video we will have a following video for the B part of the song. And if you have not already seen it, there is a pre, uh, preliminary video to this video of me actually just playing through all of Morrison's jig three times with uh, the first time is the basic melody and the second and third times are slight variations with a little bit of ornamentation. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. We're going to start, at least where I play it, where I find it most comfortable, we're going to play right in the middle. And we're actually going to play in the G and C boxes, and then over in the upper G box right here. So we're kind of going to be playing between these two markers, between these two markers here, and then between these two, and a little bit in between these two markers. So we're going to start on this bottom E, which is going to be kind of the root note of our song. And there's a couple of ways you can do this, so I'll start with the first and then show the second. And it's going to be... So we're going to go E, then down to the marker, at D, back up, and then over to the B. And we're going to strike that B twice. Now the way I play it, which I prefer to play it, is instead of playing the D here, I play it over here. It gives me a little bit more of a reach, it kind of spreads my hands out, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. and I figured out the best way to do a left to a, get the left over right to stay left over right through the whole song. So by doing it that way it worked better. So we're gonna go and that's your first few notes in that pattern. So the next section or the next little set of that A part we're gonna skip one skip over the center skip over the marker and we're gonna play one the second below it, and then the bottom marker. So all together. And then we're going to play our opening notes again. And that's the first portion of it. So to play all of that together a little bit faster, Now you'll see that I actually did a little bit of a different thing there than I did here because it's that same idea that you can play the same notes in different places because you have the same note on multiple places in your dulcimer. So you can either play or you can play. It's the same note either way. It's ones might be more comfortable for you than the other, so that's kind of a choice thing. So moving into our next next few notes here, we're gonna we've walked down. Now we're gonna walk across. So we're gonna go So we're gonna start with our right hammer again because it's gonna help us keep our left over right hand order or right over left, however you want to say that. So we're gonna start right beneath the mark. We're gonna start with our right hammer beneath the mark and go and then hit the mark then go back down and when I cross over here I'm playing the same note that I'm playing here so you could either go but I prefer to go here because it's a little bit more comfortable and we did the same thing that we did before by skipping those two center notes and going one, skip one, two, skip one, three. So putting all of that back together, and 
then we're going to play our original notes all over again. And this is where we're going to move into our next part now. And we're going to hit our mark right here. And we're going to go one, two, down. So we're going to go one, two, down one, then hit the mark, above the mark, and then across, hitting the mark on the other side. And then back down again. And just walk all the way down to your bottom marker. So that goes... So here we go, we're going to play our few notes as our lead-in and then play into that, play into that last part there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back around again. We're going to play that whole thing a second time, but we're going to change our hand position because that's going to lead us into the B part. So I'm going to go ahead and play that back around, and then you'll see where I change hands, and I'll explain what I do to change my hand position. So what I did there, the only difference from the beginning that made me change how I was doing my hands was instead of hitting the string right below the marker with my right hammer, I hit it with my left, which changed the order of my hands, which will let me more comfortably lead into the line for the B part. So I'm going to play that through again and then explain a few, the rest of the variation. So we're going to... So we're playing all four of those notes down, and then playing the one below the marker, skipping one and playing the marker. And then we're going to play the same thing, but we're going to play it down here. So we're going to be playing on that E and the marker. So we're crossing over to that string, the, the E string that's on the other side of the bridge, or crossing over on that E string on the other side of the bridge. hitting the marker, the string below the marker on the right side of the bridge, and then the marker, your bottom marker on the right side of the bridge. So here we go, we're going to play it all together and move right into the B part, or move into the B part, which will tra transfer to the next video. And we're going to go back up and strike this high G on the marker. So instead of, like in our first time around, striking our high D, or sort of our high D, because we've got another D up there, but our, our D over here on the marker, we're striking right below our C marker up here. And we're just walking all the way back down those notes. So I'm going to do that one more time. So now I'm going to put it all together, I'll play it through, play that A part through two more times, once slowly so you can see it broken down and all at once, and then uh, wrap it up one more time kind of quickly. Morrison's jig on the hammer dulcimer. 
if I may if I played it too fast, if you felt like I played it too fast, do remember that there is a speed control in the YouTube video option, so you can slow down the video or speed it up as you need to, and of course rewatch as many times as you know you feel like. And um, something else, just as a tip, something to remember to always remember: keep your hammers up, um, or try to remember to play from your fingers, not from your elbows, and just because that action of keeping your hammers up will actually improve your accuracy a little bit and make it easier to move around your dulcimer. So thank you for watching this part. We will uh, move into the B part in the next video.